Welcome back. Water ski shows are getting into full swing for the summer months. Joining me this morning from the Monaco Beds is the club president, Isabel Boyer. Good morning, Isabel. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming in today. So what makes the Monaco Bed show stand out from the other ones in the area? Um, to start, I'd probably say our venue mm -hmm. uh, called the Aqua Bowl. It's basically a giant aqua theater. Uh, not a lot of other water ski teams have that. Mm -hmm. Um, secondly, I'd probably say that our club is a student-ran organization, so our age group ranges from 12 to 24, okay. and our members are all students and kids who learn how to uh, become a leader and just kind of make those bonds with their community. All right. All right. So can you give us uh, some details on what spectators uh, can expect if they go to a show this year? Yeah, absolutely. So we always like to say that we have thrills, chills, and spills and at mm -hmm. the Aqua Bowl. Um, our biggest acts are probably our barefooting. We have lots of that. Uh, our pyramid acts and our, of course, goofing around. We have a nice goof act that okay. we like to show the crowd. What do you, can you go more into the uh, goof act? So we usually have two of our members who are actually some of the strongest skiers on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, and they pretend to just be some, they usually have a skit, but they just pretend to be some random people who kind of interfere with the show. Ah, always fun. So it's almost like a storyline in a way? Yes, definitely. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, when do the uh, shows run again? They run on Wednesday. Sunday and Friday nights at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., all right. And uh, you also wanted to mention about the club's rich history. Can you go a little more in depth on that? Yeah, so the Monacobats are the longest running amateur water ski show in the nation, if not the world. Uh, it started back in 1950 with a bunch of teenage kids who kind of just wanted to get out on the water and start water skiing, and they realized that they were attracting a crowd mm -hmm. and uh, wrote some rules down and kind of turned it in and it just became this huge thing, mm -hmm. so. That's awesome, I love the good history lesson there. Yeah. And uh, people watching right now may want to get involved or someone they know may want to get involved, so how are they able to do that? So our tryouts are normally uh, the first Tuesday and Thursday in August okay. at 5 p.m. down at the Aqua Bowl. Mm -hmm. If you have more questions or concerns regarding joining the team, you can reach out to us on Facebook okay. and we have a very good response time, so. and. Um, you say the uh, tryouts are in August. Is that for the next season? Yes, it's for the next season. Okay. Yeah. All right. So on your website, there's a link talking about a movie being made. Can you go in more in depth on that? Yeah. So one of our alumni, uh, Jordan Smedberg, she works in the film industry. And she, about three years ago, right before COVID, she reached out and interviewed everyone and all the alumni and is putting together a movie. So it should be... Is this going to be more like a documentary movie? Documentary, yes. Okay. And uh, is there any release date coming up? Um, I don't know the release date, unfortunately, but okay. keep an eye so out. So she's still uh, like in the editing process yes. or filming? Yes, editing process, editing yes. Editing process. So it's coming up here pretty soon. So if someone wants more information on Monaco Bats, where can they go? I would definitely check out our Facebook page. It's Monaco Bats Water Ski Shows. Otherwise, you can always come down to the Aqua Bowl and see one of our shows and ask questions yourself. All right, it's definitely a great time going out there. I was there for one of the shows last year, and it was definitely a great performance. So thank, uh, you. thank you, Isabel, for coming yeah. in today, and uh, good luck and for the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Yep.